Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you all about the Bari M Jelly High Shines. Now I do not have all the colours in the collection but I've got like 13 out of 18. Would that be right? Something thereabouts. Um, so I thought I'd show you what they look like on the nail or in this case on the nail wheel and let you know what I thought on which were my favourites. So we're going to start with the blues. This first colour is Blueberry which is this shade here and I really do enjoy this colour this is one of the first colours that I bought and it is lovely this one applies quite well it doesn't apply overly streaky it does become these are all two coats so it is opaque with two coats and you can see these are white sort of translucent nails so just to give you an idea beside it so that's two coats and it wears pretty well all of these wear for me they don't wear as long as they do with some people for example I, they only last maybe three to four days without chipping which is pretty good because I tend to pull the batteries off phones and I tend to be picking at things with my nails you know taking sim cards out and this sort of carry on as part of my day job so my nails tend to take a bit of abuse and they chip that bit quicker if you're not doing that there's every likelihood that they will last longer so this is one of my favorites to start with so that's blueberry the next one along this is blue grape and it's more of a royal blue so that's it in the bottle and that's it on the nail I'm not as fond of this one as I am of this one it is a beautiful beautiful color it is however ever so slightly streaky on application it definitely requires two coats to even it out it is pretty much opaque with the two coats but you kind of almost want to do three sometimes just to get that really rich colour. But yeah, it is it is quite a nice colour. This next one is such a nice dark colour. I love it. It's Blackberry. So that's it there. It is a blue, as I said. But it's such a dark colour. It is quite rich. I actually really quite like this as well. It goes on. It's not streaky on application. Um, it's opaque with two coats and again it lasts quite well. So this next one you have seen it multiple times it's Greenberry and this featured in my July favourites and it's this nail here and it's just beautiful. It's fabulous for summer no matter if you have tan skin or not it's just beautiful on the nail. It's a lovely lovely minty colour. Yeah it's a definite firm favourite and I will definitely wear this for the rest of the summer. I reckon. So this next colour, this is Guava and it's this colour here. It is, I absolutely adore the colour, I really do. It is a beautiful, beautiful colour. However, it's streaky on application. Um, not as streaky as some nail polishes that I've used. Um, this one would be slightly streakier, the, the blue one. It does definitely require two coats. And it does last well when it is on the nail. You just have to be patient when you're applying it and make sure you apply it as evenly as possible. The next colour is Key Lime. And it's this colour. And it is a real lime green. Like, obviously, Key Lime. But it's such, it's almost virgin on neon when you see it in person. It's really, really very, very bright green. Beautiful, beautiful colour utter pain to apply this is I think the worst out of them for application well for me anyway um definitely definitely requires two coats to get it even it's beautiful color it lasts quite well I'm not sure how often I would use it simply because of the pain I had when I applied it the first time I will the second time wasn't so bad but I don't know because of the difficult application it has you know made me slightly wary of it this next colour, again, is another dark shade, and this is Watermelon. This, again, I love this colour. It, it would definitely transition easily into Autumn Winter. It's just a stunning colour. It's got a real green tone to it, but with that sort of blueiness to it. Not really a watermelon. I suppose the skin of a watermelon. It's that kind of colour, obviously. But I really, really like this colour. It's easy to apply, not streaky. I really enjoy it. This next colour 
beautiful beautiful lilac purple and this is prickly pear and it's this one here this is just fabulous this would be lovely for spring as well um it's a definite summer color i'm not sure i'd be wearing it loads in the winter uh, but then again i tend to wear most colors throughout the year but this is beautiful slightly streaky to apply definitely requires two coats and uh, yeah it's just beautiful all of these are fully opaque and two coats some of them you can get away with for example this you could get away with it with a thick layer with one coat and greenberry a thick one coat layer you can get away with it and it's fully opaque so definitely experiment with just putting a one thick layer coat on before you put on you know two layers because obviously one coat and there's less chance of your nails chipping well for me anyway so the next shade we have is mango and with two coats it does appear quite orange it's not a neon orange it's definitely a peachy or toned orange uh, not necessarily streaky to apply opaque on two coats I believe beautiful I've only worn it sort of once or twice but really quite enjoyed it the next one is passion fruit and I quite like this this is sort of a peachier toned red I'll bring this back maybe peachier toned red and with this one you could almost get away again with one thick coat uh, on application and it is just such a beautiful color I absolutely love it to death love it love it now this next one is pomegranate and I have had so many compliments on this color um this is definitely uh, you can get away it's one coat wonder definitely 110 percent absolutely love it this is a fabulous color for sp sort of summer it's such a nice pink for some reason I had lovely lighting and of course the now it's gone cloudy again I'm forever whinging about my lighting I do apologize but this is just a beautiful pink just it's possibly my favorite pink I that I own and I will definitely wear it throughout the year I really really love this color definitely one of my favorites out of the collection this next color is blood orange and this is an orangier toned red now if I hold it up against the pomegranate you should be able to see the difference so we've got pomegranate here and that's blood blood orange Hold this up a bit better. so this is definitely more pinky and this is an orangey or red and it is lovely um and that's it there this is lovely on i'm slightly i would say i'm slightly yellowy toned although i do have some pinkness in my skin as well but if i tan ever so slightly this is me with a tan by the way if i tan ever so slightly i'm not translucent but i tend to go more goldy colored and this is lovely with that because it is more orange based and yellow based so love this color it does require two coats to be opaque and finally from the collection that i have it's lychee and it's this color here i haven't worn this as a full nail by itself no that's a complete lie i've worn it as an accent na accent nail and yep it required two coats i quite like this for doing polka dots on some of the other colors i wore this uh, as polka dot as a polka dot color on an elf shade that I have which is coral and it was lovely I really really liked it I'm gonna try it on all my nails but I'm not entirely sure if I can pull it off as well as some people can it is a nice color it with this it required two coats to be opaque as I said and yeah it's a nice it's, it could be a nice base for other multicolored polka dots as well so the brushes with these they're just your bog standard round thin brush which is fine. I am a much bigger fan of the broader brushes because it's just so much easier to paint my nails. They can be quite wide. I don't have anything on my nails at the minute because I've clipped them right down so I can try and get rid of the peeling that I have going on and get them nice and healthy and strong. So these retail for $3.99. As I said, there are, I think it's 18 in total. There is a plummy purple a darker green and a darker navy that I have my eye on there is also a, an orange but I already have a, a nice orange shade so I didn't really feel the need to get another one and yeah there's just 
there's slight variations on the shades that I have shown you and there is a lovely peachy one actually that I do have my eye on it's a more peachier shade than this so I will definitely be checking that out you can get these I picked mine up either at Boots or Superdrug more likely Superdrug because I tend to get more of a selection at the Superdrug uh, branch this new me whereas the boots one tends to focus more on high-end stuff and there's only a small amount of sort of high street goodies but yeah really really enjoy this collection cannot recommend them enough as I said with most people they probably would wear for the sort of four to five days that everybody would get and if you're like myself and you have to pick at the back of things and get your nails in to get stuff out classy motion there I don't know what I'm doing but if you have to get your nails to get in to get things out or whatever else they will chip eventually but mine seem to wear pretty well for about sort of three to four days which is really good and I tend to change my nail varnish up during the week pretty regular anyway as I get bored so that is everything if you have any questions or if you'd like to see some of the images if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen me wearing these various nail polishes I'll leave the information down below as well as my blog and Twitter so you can check those all out now if you want to see what's on my face stay tuned for those of you that aren't interested thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video so on my face I start off with my Smashbox uh, photo finish primer I'm coming to the end of this but I've been really enjoying using this for foundation I have come back to my Bare Minerals original foundation in Golden Fair as I'm shopping my stash I thought this I'd try this out again and I've been quite liking it it suited my color tone a bit better now that I have a wee bit of a tan I've used my well rested under my eyes uh, in this area just to lighten everything up on my eyes I have used my MAC painterly paint pot as the base and then I've gone into my Build My Own palette from Urban Decay I've used Walk of Shame all the way up to my lid and then I've used Shattered over the main part of my lid uh, as the main colour I'll just zoom you in because I really like this colour so I've used it out to here and then for my Urban Decay Dangerous palette I have taken Mushroom on the outer portion of my lid and just blend that up into my crease and brought it round a bit and obviously under my eye and I've used the shattered under this part of my eye zoom you back that again for my eyelashes I've used their real just not getting this at all I think I'm going to have to unfortunately bin this but I did use it today just to continue trying it out oh in my tear duct I've used my Bare Minerals loose pigment uh, in sundress I absolutely love this I forgot all about it so I've just used it in that inner tear duct you can see it is yellow but it's kind of got a two-tone thing going on it's a really really nice color it's one of those colors that changes um, depending what you put it over or how the light hit, hits it so I really recommend this it's sundress from Bare Minerals for my eyebrows I have used my Maybelline brow shape and this is in dark blonde again dug this out from shopping my stash and for blush I've gone back into my sleek sweet cheeks palette using this as a base and this candy floss over the top and finally for lips I've used my shocking coral from the Maybelline color sensation line love this really really enjoy using it. I set that with my Bare Minerals Translucent Powder and then I went over that with my Hourglass Aether Light Powder just to highlight a wee bit and add a nice wee glow and then I set all that in place with my Urban Decay Setting Spray which is behind me and I can't bother getting but that's everything so <laughs> thank you very very much for watching please like if you like please subscribe if you like and I'll see you in my next video